You can grow taller at any age, but how? The simple answer, hypertrophy, the word you commonly associated with going to the gym and lifting weights. However, that is muscular hypertrophy, and the term hypertrophy simply means the enlargement of an organ or tissue from the increase in size of its cells. You have probably heard of muscular hypertrophy, but have you ever heard of bone hypertrophy? If not, then this video will open your eyes to the exact steps you need to be doing to grow taller. I hope you're ready to get the solid answer you have been looking for. Let's start with the basics. The principle of hypertrophy Hypertrophy explains how our tissues, including bones and muscles, grow and strengthen in response to increased functional demands. Usain Bolt, a sprinter, would have had high impact to his bones through sprinting. The high impact the bones in his legs would endure would have caused his bones to adapt over time to the forces placed upon them, becoming stronger and denser with increased load. Now Bolt stands at 6 feet 5 inches. Coincidence? I don't think so. Many athletes that take part in high impact sports experience this from the likes of Michael Jordan to Serena Williams. You might still not be convinced. We'll take a look at this. Arm wrestler Devin Larat has noticeably different sized arms. His arm that he arm wrestles with is bigger compared to his inactive arm. This can be explained through Wolf's Law, as the one he uses will be placed under significantly more stress and therefore his bones have adapted to the load and grew over time. High loads create microfractures in the bones and they come back bigger and stronger. Just like when you tear your muscle fibers through lifting weights and they too come back bigger and stronger. In 1892, German surgeon Julius Wolf stated that bone in a healthy person or animal will adapt to the loads under which it is placed. In other words, bones become stronger and denser in response to stress and strain. This can also be easily applied to weightlifters as they have denser and thicker bones due to the stress of lifting weights on the bones. The Maasai tribe from Kenya have some of the tallest people in the world and the average height of the tribe is six foot three. Why am I telling you this? Well, the Maasai tribe are also known for their traditional exercise of jumping up and down at insane heights. This will also create microfractures, meaning their bones adapt and build back stronger and bigger. Our height growth can be down to either stress or stimuli. There are two types of stress, hormonal and mechanical stress. Wolf's law applies solely to mechanical stress. So if you want to grow taller, you need to apply certain stress to where your legs need to stretch and will grow. So what can you be doing? A great way to implement this law is through cycling. Cycling is extremely popular in the Netherlands and no wonder the average height is over six foot. However, you must cycle in a specific way. Make sure you put the seat at a height where your leg is at full stretch on the bottom pedal. The constant stretch of the leg will signal to your body that your bones need to be remodeled and adapt to cope easier with the stress. Cycle every day using this height and every week slightly increase the height. Doing this consistently will allow you to see changes in three to four months. A study was done regarding the increase in the saddle of bicycles over time. The study showed that an increase in saddle heights resulted in the increase of joints, mainly the hip, knee, and ankle. This will also stretch the muscles. Usually when a muscle is stretched, it will go back to its original position, but when tension is applied on a long enough time frame, the muscle will adapt to get used to the stretch position. This is known as the adaptive remodeling of the muscles. The second method you can use to grow taller is by creating microfractures. However, this needs to be implemented with stretch the bone for the best results. Think of it like this. Microfractures gives your bones potential to grow and without stretching the bone, due to how gravity acts, your bones will grow wider and not taller. So what you can do is Maasai jumps for 10 to 15 minutes with breaks. This will create the microfractures needed to grow. Then hang your legs off of your bed whilst attaching ankle weights. This coupled with the act of gravity will help your bones to grow vertically. Make sure to go to bed directly after this, otherwise your bones will be compressed and no growth will occur. Also, doing high intensity sports is good for improving your overall height growth. Make sure you are sprinting around three to four times per week, as this is essential for you to reach your potential. Sprinting increases growth hormone and testosterone. Do five sets of sprints for around around 10 to 15 seconds each sprint. Make sure to get good sunlight exposure coupled with a nutritious diet is the key to making sure you add on those extra few inches. Also, having good posture is crucial for opening up the body and giving you the best chance to grow as tall as possible. Click here to see the exact food you need to be eating to accelerate your growth and to make sure Wolf's Law is going to work for you. See you there.